The thing about gamers is a lot of them are dorks. I'm a dork. Look at me, I keep a plushy Mr. Me seeks and a crystal dragon on my desk and I bench press the bar with no weights. What a dork. And be fair, you're probably a bit nerdy too, right? I mean, maybe you play a mean bass guitar or you can bench press 400, but the fact of the matter is, you're a gamer and you probably spent a lot of your playtime doing all sorts of things that you would hate to admit to your parents, your partner, or even your fellow gamer buddies. Let's find out where you stack up in this list. I'm Peter from WhatCulture.com and here are 10 embarrassing things we all did in famous video games. Number 10, being a law-abiding taxi driver. Los Santos is a criminal's playground with over 20 square miles of city to run around in. Cars to blow up, people to kill, animals to hallucinate into. That's a bit weird. It's a joy. Until that fateful day that hits us with every GTA game when you load up and you just don't feel like killing today. So you jump in a taxi that you probably stole because you're not going to renounce all crime, that would be silly, and start driving civilians around for a small fee, even responding to traffic lights, stop signs and whatever else comes your way. It never lasts long of course, especially if someone walks into the room and asks why you're being such a goon driving around a virtual city doing what some people get paid to do in real life. But once you've had a taste of what it's like to be a GTA taxi driver, you never quite forget that serenity and know that someday, sooner or later, you'll go back and switch on that meter again. Number 9. Killing Your Sims It's hard to know whether Maxis knew what people would end up doing to their sims when the franchise was first conceived. Sure, a few players enjoyed spending their time creating a family and constructing a house. But most of us have to hold our hands up and admit to being sadistic, omnipotent deities. Burning everyone to death with deliberate oven fires or drowning swimmers by blocking their escape from the pool and then watching a new family die of exhaustion as they're kept awake all night by the restless ghosts of bygone residents. It's the sort of thing you wouldn't want anyone to catch you doing unless you'd established that they've done it too. Now, most people have, I assure you, so you'd be alright there. But your dad, well, if he saw this kind of behaviour, he might be on the phone to a child therapist within the hour. Number 8. Playing as a woman and getting special treatment Anyone who's played World of Warcraft, Guild Wars, RuneScape, or pretty much any other MMO knows for a fact that in the days of old, ladies got loot. Things are a little different now that gaming is less reserved simply for awkward males with nowhere else to go, but a pair of virtual boobs had amazing and undeniable power once upon a time. All it took were a few cheeky private messages and a cry for help, and all the lonely men in the vicinity came running at you with their big glowing wands and shiny bulbous helmets ready for you to play with. It was only a few rungs up from prostitution, really, and you never actually felt clean using the loot that you'd earned this way, but it was a quick way to the top. Probably worth it. No, probably not actually. Number 7. Camping The best part about camping was when it paid off and you could hear the 9 year old on the other end of the game chat stifling their tears. Stop camping, they'd scream. You're a sniper f- at 1v1 me, came their horribly bit crushed replies. It was pretty hilarious, but admittedly cheap as hell. I do agree that any tactic is a legit tactic, but on the other hand, social norms do exist and if something is considered low rent, maybe you should feel just a little bit sheepish for doing it. Number 6. Being a pervert Now, I'm the first to admit that the naked Lara cheat for Tomb Raider 1 was the holy grail of my prepubescent childhood. I didn't know any better. The internet wasn't the endless source of gentlemen's special interest media as it is today, and so you had to get it where you could. It turned out to be a gaming urban legend, of course, but there was some solace to be had. Meryl. Metal Gear Solid 1. Underwear. If you make it to this bathroom super quickly, she's not had time to get changed, and the cutscene runs out like this. The dream of any 90s preteen. I know she only consists of about 8 polygons, but Lara's boobs were sharper than a pyramid head, so it's really 6 and a half dozen. Number 5. Screaming like a baby at the Resident Evil dog. There's a special pitch of Scream that's specially reserved for shark attacks, being stabbed, or playing this segment of Resident Evil. I did it, you did it, we all did it. This might still be one of the most terrifying jump scares in all of video gaming, actually. The dogs themselves aren't even that frightening, but way back when games had far more technical limits, a monster leaping through a window was a rare occurrence. But that aside, we're still a bunch of wimps. Number 4. Locking the butler in the freezer Winston Smith, Lara Croft's ever-loyal butler, was a bit creepy, hobbling round, murmuring everywhere you went, looking like he might keel over any minute. He only had it coming to him. It was a real fiddle-faddle the first time you tried it, but eventually you got it down, coax him in, jump over his head, and hit the switch. The fact that he clips through the door a little bit in his efforts to escape was only funnier. Just don't let any of your family catch you doing it, because it's a little tricky to explain to anyone over 40, especially your granddad. He might think he's next. 
Number three, teabagging. Teabagging, an act done in any FPS where you can crouch, but most famously Halo 2 and 3, is really lame. I'm not taking any high ground, of course, I did it too, but it is just really, really lame. It got to the point that you'd see it after every single kill, despite the fact that it ought to be reserved for the aftermath of a highly skillful takedown or sneaky assassination from behind. It didn't help the fact that after its popularity in Halo 2, Bungie decided to get in on the joke and add a bit of extra head movement from a teabagged body in the third instalment. That was enough to doom a generation of kids to incessant corpse humping who will one day become tomorrow's servicemen, serial killers, abattoir attendants and MI5 agents, unable to get on with their job until they've done a quick foxtrot across their victim's face. Number 2. Isometric Genocide Roller Coaster Tycoon, Transport Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon. They were all quite different to an extent, but closet sadists across the globe managed to find one identical playstyle. I'm telling you now, the deepest circle of hell awaits us all. Crashing rides, blowing up trains, releasing dinosaurs, drowning innocents, bringing down aircraft, dropping a zebra in the lion pit. You are a monster and you ought to be ashamed of your- Oh wow, okay, well, well that one was pretty cool actually. And number one, screen looking. We're back to the world of first person shooters for this one and oh my god, if you got caught doing this heinous crime you would be the laughing stock of the session, if not forever. What's that? You're trailing behind by 23 kills? You just want to catch up a little bit, right? I mean, I mean, the guy who's winning is camping anyway and he keeps teabagging you every time you die, so sure, just have a quick glance across the other screen. Now you just need to think of an excuse as to how you managed to avoid that brilliantly hidden mine that you jumped across as though you already knew where it was. What a dirty cheat. And that's our list. Got any embarrassing confessions of your own? Drop them in the comments. It's okay, we're all friends here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And you can follow me and What Culture Gaming on Twitter here and here. I'm Peter from WhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.